What the Bible says about demons, origins, and characteristics. When people become aware of the reality of demons and controlling powers, they naturally ask what kind of creatures they are and what is their origin. We're going to talk about kind of creatures demons are. We will see in Matthew chapter 12, verse 44, when Jesus discussed the behavior of demons. Jesus made a note that the demon comes out of a man saying, I will return to my house from which I came from. The mention of the word will shows that the demon has a characteristic of a will to make a decision and following it up with the corresponding action. This will is a powerful indicator that an individual is a personality. Number two, emotions found in James chapter 2 verse 19. We have the evidence that demons have the ability to feel fear, which in an emotion, it is an emotion. And in James chapter 2 verse 19 says, You believe that it is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. Trembling is an outward mark of intense emotion. When confronted by the authority of Christ, demons have yielded to screaming, which is a manifestation of their fear. The next one is intellect. Intellect is the evident in the word of God that these spirits have knowledge that is not derived from natural sources. You see in the Bible, the first time a demon-possessed person confronts Jesus in the synagogue in Capernaum, the demon spoke out of a demonized man saying, I know who you are, the Holy One of God, as seen in Mark chapter 1, verse 24. This was more than a year before Jesus' own disciples even knew what this demon had discerned immediately. Number four, the ability to speak. In the New Testament, we see in the first three Gospels and also in the book of Acts, several examples of demons able to speak through the vocal organs of the person. They were controlling speak through the vocal persons. The demons even had the ability to answer questions and carry on a conversation. We usually regard the ability to speak on a distinctive mark of personality. Number five, self-awareness. The trait of self-awareness is also a strong indicator of personality. Jesus asked a demon-possessed man in the country of the Gadarenes in Mark chapter 5, verse 9. What is your name? A demon answered on behalf of itself and the other demons. My name is Legion, for we are many. This shows that they have the awareness of both this own identity and that of other demons occupying this man. It's hard for you, for us, to entertain the idea of a person without a body. However, even though demons lack a body, they have all the usual attributes of a personality, which is the will emotions, and intellect, activity to speak, and self-awareness. What is the origin? To say with certainty that the origin of demons are. However, the first theory is that there are some of the fallen angels associated with Satan and his rebellion against God. The second theory is they are disembodied spirits of the pre-Adamic race that perished and is some judgment of God not recorded in detail in the scripture. 
The third is a theory, simply disembodied spirits of the Nephilim, which was heroes of the old giants mentioned in the Bible, that were just part of man and part creatures. As mentioned earlier, I do not believe the scripture provides us with sufficient evidence to say with certainty what the origins of demons are. The Bible only records the history of one man's race, which is Adam. In this connection, the Bible uses the phrase, the descendants of the sons of Adam. The Bible focused on redeeming those last sons of Adam with Jesus who arrived on earth as the last Adam. Our concept of demons, however, as a practical bearing on how we deal with them. Our focus remains in dealing with these spirits. Our generation will keep Satan on his knees. We are going to make this so unbearable, unbearable for Satan. When Jesus sent the disciples out in Matthew 10, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out. If you have been suffering some defeat in the hands of these controlling spirits, your defeat will be turned to victory. And you lay hold on the truth of God's word. We also share how to cast these spirits out in a video I put out this week on how to cast out controlling spirits. God bless you.